all right so if you are planning to uh, okay so if you are planning to do baby led weaning with your baby so so <laughs> so really i'm just doing this video because i'm bored my baby is still taking a nap and i i think this could help other mothers as well who are, especially those who are planning to do baby led weaning and i will also be talking about other stuff like how are you gonna deal with people who will i mean with unsolicited advice and how would you react i guess i'm gonna give you advice as well <laughs> and or i'm just gonna tell you how i okay. do disclaimer i am no expert but i read a lot of articles and I, anything and everything that i do to and for my baby i research a whole lot of stuff before doing it okay and also i ask other mothers I, I'm not saying I'm knowledgeable, but what I'm going to be telling you would be, you know, from my own experience. So I guess, I guess it would really help other mothers. So if you're watching now, probably you're, you know, looking for answers too, or hopefully it could help you too. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so if you are planning to do baby led weaning, chances are you will feel very alone why because most of your friends and families or no one at all no one that you know are doing it okay yes because it's it's kind of a new age way of feeding your baby or it could also be that your families and friends are against it or doesn't know a thing about it or it could be both <laughs> You have to be really tough, mama, because if you're doing baby lead weaning, you know, you get all sorts of unsolicited advices. You get, you get to be called OA or too much. You, you will get judged so many times. Yes, prepare for that. <laughs> I'm not really saying that for certain, you know, you're getting all that, but you will get a lot of questions about it because like i said baby led weaning is a kind of a new new way of feeding your babies so we were raised i was raised also with traditional weaning you know spoon fed puree yeah mm -hmm. and there's nothing wrong about it definitely nothing wrong about it that's why i'm actually doing combo feeding i'm doing both baby led weaning and um, puree. But the difference is that most of the time, I just I just let my baby lead the way. Okay, I meaning to say I don't spoon feed my baby. I just I just load the spoon and I, I let the baby take the spoon, and he feeds himself. Because so many people are gonna be questioning you or you know asking you not not intentionally in a bad way really, but you know because they have no idea what is baby led weaning yet. It's okay, you know, you have to be okay with that. But I have to tell you, it can be very irritating sometimes. <laughs> yes, it can annoy you. Because, of course, no, no mamas are, you know, planning to do something that would risk their babies. I think if you are planning to do baby led weaning, you don't do it without researching, right? It's it's a very big journey milestone it's a new journey for your baby and you as a mom and you know your partner too so it's not something that you're just gonna do without even researching right and unlike traditional weaning where i mean there's less researching to be done because almost everyone are doing it you know you could you could just ask ask your friends your families your mother diba right? So, baby led weaning is not something people do without researching. I have to repeat that over and over again. I have to put a lot of emphasis on that. No mothers are doing baby led weaning without research. That's crazy. 
please, if you're not researching and you're doing baby led weaning, stop it. Stop, please, stop. <laughs> okay? So, what I'm really just trying to say is that people, some people, can be offensive without them realizing it. Like, for example, okay, my own experience, okay? I, <laughs> I get a message, wow, Jack, over, over, you don't have to do that. <laughs> I mean, that's a lot of work. I'm like, okay. <laughs> uh, so I just answered, you know, how do I deal with it? Okay, here's the thing. I don't deal with it, actually. <laughs> I, is it? I, I'm not sure if I'm dealing with it, actually. <laughs> Sometimes, I, I just don't have the time for negativity. <laughs> so what I just tell, what I told her is that, yeah, I have all the time in the world. <laughs> yeah, because I do. I'm a housewife and I work you know, just three to four hours a day. So yes, I, I have a lot of time to do what's best for my baby. I mean, I'm lucky that I have that time. I'm lucky to be a housewife. It's not nothing bad about it. I love that I'm spending a lot of my time for my baby. You know, a lot of mamas would love to have it, but you know, they don't have the, the opportunity and I have it. So I'm lucky. So. I was just kind of offended with what she said. <laughs> but maybe it's on me. Maybe it's the way I take it. But yeah, my feelings are valid. All, fee all emotions are valid. Yeah, so I was a little bit offended, but I didn't really want to, <laughs> you know, ruin the friendship just because of that. <laughs> so just peace, you know. <laughs> Another example. Jack, um, isn't that too big for your baby? Isn't that, are you sure it's soft? Soft enough for your baby? Okay, that, that is okay. I, I get that. Because, I mean, I'm not offended by it. Am I offended about it? Um, hmm. I, I'm not, re yes and no. <laughs> because I know they're just concerned. But then again, let's go back to the part where why am I going to do something that will risk my baby? Of course, it's common sense. I think it's just common sense. You so yeah, that was on me. The way I took it, you know, it, it's not totally offensive, but just a little because I, I would never risk my baby. I would never, I would never do such a thing without proper research. And those people who are asking me those questions are those that do not know a thing about baby led weaning. And you know what? I read from the support group that I that I joined in. Um, what what they don't understand, they attack. What they don't understand, they attack. Yeah, so they don't know anything about baby led weaning. <laughs> so they will they will. <laughs> You know, kind of attack you, but not really attack. That's too. <laughs> that's just too much. Too much of a word. Okay, they're not intentionally questioning you, but they are questioning you. I'll support you. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so yeah. Where yeah, are we now? Yeah. I forgot. <laughs> it was so hot outside. Zach, Mama is vlogging about you. Is that okay? I was actually very impressed with how the mother handled or answered the um, grandma. She said, um, she said, I know you're just concerned, but this is my baby and I'm the parent. And I'm gonna parent my baby the best way I know. Amazing, no? Pang Miss Universe. <laughs> but that's exactly right. That's the right thing to do. We, if you're the parent, you parent your baby, you take care of your baby the way, the best way you know how. But yeah, that's the point. It's your baby. You do you. Diba? I mean, thank you. They're just, they're concerned, but at the end of the day, you know what's best for your baby. But but what I'm trying to say is that 
But it doesn't mean, okay, it doesn't mean that you're not going to take any advices. We need advice. I love advices. I ask a lot of mothers for advice. I really it's not do. not intentional. Just some people, they don't know that it's offensive the way they, they give advice. Sometimes it's wrong too. Sometimes not all advices are correct. What I mean is that other advices are not exactly correct, but it worked with their babies. Do you know what I mean? Do you get it? Um, for example, before when my baby was a month or two months old, I was purely breastfeeding my baby. Up until now, my baby is eight months old. So at that time, I was told to let my baby drink water. Water is not good for the baby below six months old, especially for breastfeeding babies. Okay, there is what we call water intoxication, and it's really bad. Mm-hmm. And also, if you let your baby drink water, they will not be able to. They would not be able to to absorb all the nutrients needed for them, and it can also sometimes cause brain swelling or something. I don't know. Just do the research. That's what I remember with the things that I've been read reading before. In another example, um, uh. When my, I think I, I posted a story with my, um, of my baby um, sucking, okay? And then I got a message uh, like that. Um, uh, sinanay, sinanay ko daw yung baby. So it, it, I was blamed for letting him do it, for making it his habit. I think it's natural for babies to do that, right? <laughs> so... Actually, my baby now, he's not thumb sucking anymore. I was able to stop it because I, I researched, <laughs> I, I read a lot of articles on how to stop it because I got paranoid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm that kind of mother who gets easily paranoid. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I was like questioned, like I was blamed for that when it's actually just natural for them to do it, right? Uh, but I didn't really get mad. It was just an initial reaction when you read messages like that, comments like that, that you are blamed to, you know, for such thing. So it was like, but yeah, I didn't get mad because I didn't get mad because she gave me a lot of advices on how to stop your baby from thumb sucking. So it actually helped aside from all the reading that I've done. So yeah, like I told you, I love advices and I, I openly welcome them i love i love it Mm -mm. they are concerned so that's my advice to you if you're watching if you're a mom who's getting a lot of unsolicited advices and you know if you're a mom who gets you know offended or irritated with advices don't get them wrong you don't 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 take it personally they are just concerned we're too busy with our baby so just don't take everything seriously or just just don't deal with them <laughs> okay but but one thing i do also okay this is very important for me this is just my personality okay what i do is i answer them with information that i've read or that i know you know um based on experience so i i tell them the facts okay so yeah but sometimes the problem is when you answer them that way like okay um like for example i tell them actually when you're doing baby led weaning it it can help the baby do the blah 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 mm-hmm. it's actually not a bad thing I'm, I'm i actually cooked it really soft i like that oh when you answer it's like it sounds like you are being defensive and also um sometimes you will be painted as the one who is offensive you when you answer them you are gonna be the one who will be painted as the one who are offending them do you know what i mean like when you answer people with facts they (laughs) will say that you know you're that someone who doesn't want who doesn't take who doesn't want to be wrong but i when i'm wrong i really i embrace it and i say sorry 
but when I'm right, I tell you, I tell you, I give you the facts. So it's, if they are offended about it with your answer, then it's on them. But yeah, I just can't, I just cannot just shut up and not tell them the facts sometimes. I can't just shut up sometimes because if I let them, I don't like not telling the facts because it's like I'm enabling them. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> um, I'm, I hate being an enabler. If you don't tell the truth, you don't, you don't tell the facts, they will, you, it means you, you, you're just letting them think that you're feeding the baby the wrong way. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yes, you know what I mean. <laughs> don't stop people from doing the wrong thing. They're just gonna do it again, again and again. Right? They're just gonna be the way they are. They're not gonna change. And that's just me, okay? It's not always right. Sometimes I just have to shut up. You are gonna get a lot of criticisms. A lot of people are gonna question you. I mean, your way of feeding your baby. You will probably get discouraged. You will be more fearful. You will be... What else? What would be the perfect word? You would be hesitant to even start. You won't be that confident. I'll tell you that because, you know, it's not just the people around you. Sometimes it's even your partner. He's not super comfortable. What I really hate is that it's super messy when you're doing baby led weaning. And especially for us because we're doing combo feeding. So, and three times a day. We feed Zach three times a day now. So can you imagine the the food sometimes um, the food ends up on the floor, the puree, and all the other foods. <laughs> yes. And after that, we uh, have to bathe Zach because he gets you know it's the food is all over his face and body too, and also oh my gosh. <laughs> after that, I have to nurse Zach because. He doesn't drink a lot of water, so he gets really thirsty. So I, I have to nurse him, and then, so I, so that makes it difficult because Tyron is the one who usually cleans up the mess outside, right? No, and Papa's really, really nice. No, Papa's really good. He helps Mama. Yes. So, <laughs> yeah. He's the one who cleans up the mess. That's why he complains. Right? But, but Papa is very proud of you that you are very good at chewing, Nadiba. He's very proud of you. And he loves to cook for you. And also, he likes to bathe you. He complains, but he does it anyway. He, he loves you. Yes. Thank you, Papa. <laughs> here's, here's another very crazy, super nakaka-annoy na, na comment. Um, I didn't get this comment, actually. Maybe secretly. But a lot of mothers um, have been judged because of this. So they say, they are being told, that they are doing baby led weaning because it's trendy because it's uso and celebrities are a lot of celebrities are doing it you now we have i think ann curtis chris Oli, and i don't know any other celebrities but there's a lot and so nakikiuso daw sila nakikiuso daw kami which is crazy and it, that comment is really stupid i hate that comment I think it's actually great that these celebrities are promoting baby led weaning, you know, because the, the uh, there are a lot of advantages, and based on experience, Zach is really not a picky eater, and he loves vegetables, he likes being adventurous, he likes trying new food, and um, he's really great at chewing right now. So, no, we are not nakiki uso. We just love the fact that we 
you know, our babies are learning a lot of things. I cannot. Oh my gosh. Shh. I cannot tell you all the ben- the advantages um, of baby led weaning right now. But there's just really a lot. And that's why we opt to do it, do the baby led weaning. It's not because we're <laughs> so, to make it sure, para matapos ng itong rant ko, <laughs> I'm not ranting actually, I'm just, you know, telling you you're not alone in this baby the baby led winning journey. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, just, <clears throat> sometimes you have to answer people and tell them the facts, the information, the benefits, advantages. But if you think that they're not going to listen or they're not they're not going to be able to understand, just let them be na lang kasi it's useless. And just do your thing. You do you. You know what's best for your baby. And you know later on they will see it naman that your baby's doing great. Okay, so I guess that's all. Thank you for watching. It's about to wake up. Yeah. I will tell you on my next video um, my tips on how to get started with baby led weaning. And in case you are planning to do both or combo feeding, I'm gonna tell you how I did it and I hope it can shed light. Thank you for watching.